Hello, everybody. I'm going to do a review of the Panda 2.6 cubic feet portable dryer. It's model number PAN865W. I ordered this from walmart.com and wanted to start off by just showing you the box, the machine and everything that comes with it. And then I'll come on and show you guys how it runs and give my opinion. So it came in this really big box and it actually is two boxes. There's, and they're both very sturdy boxes. The outside came, the outside and the inside both were strapped with these plastic straps that go over the top. And it had uh, lots of styrofoam. There's one on the bottom, one on the top. There was uh, one on each corner. And then there was this one that went in front of the door. It's kind of flimsy, but with two boxes. <laughs> You know, uh, but I, 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 it was shipped very nicely and they taped the cord on top. It has three prongs and I will show you guys the back. There's the back and there's the place for the exhaust pipe. And then I will show you the machine itself. So this came with a digital control panel. So there's the control panel. The door is sort of tinted purple. It's like, I know it looks sort of light purple, but it's actually more of a like brownish purple. There's the inside, that's the filter, the lint filter, and then that is the air filter. Very uh, big on the inside. I was actually surprised it was so big. Way bigger than I thought it would be. I have pulled out the filter. Uh, I didn't have any problems pulling the filter out. It took me a second to actually put it back in, but when you set it on there, you actually have to push it a little bit. Um, but it does turn and everything. Uh, so very nice. Latches very well. It doesn't, you know, you have to really kind of pull it to get it open. And here are the things that it came with. So you get your manual. You get your exhaust connector. You get your exhaust pipe with the clamp, the clamp's right there. And you get the things to mount this dryer on the wall. So this is the wall hooks and uh, the bolts and everything you would need to bolt this to a wall. It also came with this, um, these four things in a, in a like bubble pack. And I've been looking through the manual and nowhere does it show a picture or anything. Uh, the only pictures that you see in the manual is right here where it says wall mounting kit includes the following. But if you look over here, it says adjusting the leveling legs. So it, by the, when I found that, all you see is this tiny little diagram right here. <laughs> nowhere in here does it show a picture of these legs. But uh, it took me a second to figure it out, but they go underneath the dryer. And I will come on and show you guys what those look like. So if you get this dryer, you know what you're looking for. I'll be right back. So here's the bottom of the dryer. <laughs> I almost said washer. The bottom of the dryer. I have noticed a few imperfections underneath the dryer. And it's this right here. If you look at this side, and I noticed a small dent right here, and here's the other side. This also is sort of, it's not, like if you look down here, it's sort of even, and here it is not. And a little bit down here, 
just a little compared to over there. That's the only things that I've noticed uh, imperfection wise on this dryer. Now, when you get, <laughs> when you open up your stuff that comes with it, you'll see a pack. This, these are wrapped in bubble wrap and they're all together. So it's like, do, 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 do. And it doesn't say, like I said, anywhere. It doesn't show a picture of it. It's just these. And I kept looking at it and I'm like, what is this? And so once I opened the package and then I started looking through the manual, I figured out that they are le the leveling legs. So they have a really long screw and they go into this hole right here. And it has sort of like a plastic, uh, like covering over it. And so these go here and then you can adjust them if for some reason your surface is unlevel is not level. So they go in like that. So they're maybe an inch and a half tall. And so it doesn't really make a difference height wise, but I, I, I wish they would be a little bit clearer, more clearer on that and list them as something that's in the package. But overall, other than just these, you know, small imperfections on the bottom, so far I haven't noticed anything else imperfection wise. So I will hook this up and, um, well, I'll come back on and review how the product works. So I've had the dryer a couple weeks now, and so far I really like it. I went ahead and left the plastic part that goes over the display. I left that on. Um, I mean, it's starting to come off, so, but it's, I, I like it so far. You definitely have to make sure that you are taking, um, doing the filter that's in the back. And sometimes it can be hard to pop it out, but if you don't, um, and I mean, this thing really picks up a lot of lint, but if you don't, I've noticed if you don't get all the lint off of it after each load, uh, it definitely doesn't dry the clothes as fast, but you just, I just kind of take it and take that off. And then the filter, man, it really picks up a lot on this. I need to vacuum it, but what I've been doing is just kind of taking the lint that I got off of the, the screen and just sort of rubbing it. I think the friction is helping some of it come off, but I'm definitely gonna have to take a vacuum cleaner to it here soon because I've had it a couple weeks now and it gets, it gets pretty full. This is just after one load. So, uh, and I've noticed that it's starting to get worn out, kind of worn out looking. So I'm probably going to have to get replacements, but once you take that off, um, see how it's starting to, then you can put this back together. So it goes like this. And then this goes on top and you pop it back in, but you definitely have to make sure that you're checking that. This filter here, I think it's like the air filter or something. I really haven't had to do anything with that so far, but, um, what I've been doing is with like, I have, um, a blanket, like I just, a uh, just a small little blanket that I'm going to put in here and dry by itself. And I haven't been using dryer sheets in here. I saw on a video that someone said that you shouldn't. So I've been using fabric softener in my washer and I'm going to do a review. There'll be a review up on that as well, but I'm just going to put this in. You got to remember that the thicker the material is, the more you put in here, the longer it's going to take to dry. So I'm just going to put this by itself because it's a pretty fuzzy little lap blanket and, uh, or I wouldn't say an afghan, it's just kind of like a lap blanket, but I've had like a bunch of towels in here and it's taken over an hour. So that's the only thing you have to remember is 
you know, it's gonna, it's gonna be a while. So once I put that in there, I just shut it. And I've been going between auto and warm. Auto will keep going until it's dry. And you'll hear it, it'll start to kind of, it'll stop and then start to reverse it to the other direction. And that one pretty much, it'll, it'll go until your clothes are dry and stop. So I like that one with my towels and like my heavier fabrics. And if it's my clothes, uh, typically I'll do like the warm setting. But all in all, I'm gonna go ahead and do this one. Um, I really like it. I like the touch screen. It's really nice. You don't have to press hard at all. Like all I have to do is sort of set, I mean, I barely touched it. So I really like it. Uh, I did have to do some adjusting in the back. The, the tube that they, I'm gonna turn this off for just a second. The plastic exhaust tube that comes with it, it broke like within seconds. But I kind of knew already it wasn't going to fit because the hole that goes to the outside is actually bigger than the one that they sent me, the hose that they sent me. So I actually did end up going to the hardware store and getting uh, new clamps. The clamps were too small as well. The I ended up getting new clamps and a new exhaust tube. And I'll have to kind of show, I'll have to show you guys exactly what I did, but uh, it, it, it broke like instantly. As soon as I tried to put it on, because I, I really wasn't paying attention and I tried to put it on and I saw that it didn't work and I went to take it off and it just snapped. So it's not definitely not the best exhaust tube, but I think if you're, you know, if you're just going to be sticking out a window or something like that, it might be okay. But honestly, I would just go ahead and get a new one. Don't even bother because <laughs> I had heard that and I was like, well, you know, how could bad could it be? It's bad. <laughs> so let me get to the back and I will show you guys what I had to do. So here's the back of the unit. And so what the, what problem I had was that the L uh, tube or I forget what they called it, but the part that goes into the back of the machine then attaches the exhaust hose to the wall, that was too small for the tube that I needed to fit into the wall. <laughs> so I had to go over the part where the other hose would go into. I had to go over the top of it. I took it as high as I could and I got a uh, the, there actually was a uh, ring that came with this exhaust tube and I tightened it as tight as I absolutely could. So that's why it looks like this because it actually is way too big. But I just kind of made it clinch around it. So, so far I haven't had any problems. But yes, I had. it took me a second to kind of figure out how to do this. So I think this it's because this area in my mobile home is, is equipped for a full size washer and dryer, but I can't really afford that. This was more affordable for me. So I just had to make a little, a few little tweaks, but it can be done. So if you're in the same situation and you just need something, you know, that's inexpensive, it can be done. Just make sure that you have the ring that goes around it that you can tighten and I just sat there and screwed it and screwed it until I absolutely could not get it any tighter. So it's been working for me so far. So I definitely uh, can give this a two thumbs up. I really like the product. It's not really loud. My next, the next thing that I've been, I've been working on is trying to get some type of table or something to put this on because it is literally on the ground. <laughs> Um, it's really, really close to the ground and I have a lot of back issues, so it's hard for me to get down to put the clothes in and especially to get the filter that's way in the back. But all in all, I really, really like the Panda dryer. I do not regret it at all. It's quiet and I love all the features. The touchscreen is awesome. I, I just, I really, really am happy with it. So I hope this helps somebody. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I will answer them the best that I can. You guys, I'll see you soon.